this video I'm gonna talk about BGP origin path attribute so if you've watched the my free my previous videos about uh, BGP attributes path attributes and the mnemonic that you know we used from uh, the book that I'm reading uh, you know the CCNP routing uh, and switching route 300-101 official start guide by Kevin Wallace we got that uh, mnemonic from that book and it is N uh, Walla spelled as W L L A and Omni uh, O M N I the Omni I mean the O in in Omni is for origin and um, some people don't know this but we can actually use origin to <clears throat> uh, as I noted here to influence outbound traffic by using the set origin route map sub command so uh, basically uh, we can use it uh, if we're gonna you know define the routes uh, using a an access list and then call that access list from a route map and then uh, you know match that uh, access list uh, and you know <clears throat> under the route map and then you know use this uh, command here set origin <clears throat> uh, I'm not I haven't uh, seen um, any videos or uh, I haven't read from a book you know using <clears throat> Uh, this command uh, So I'm not very familiar with I mean, what's you know, what's the value that you can set here? but you know from the book that uh, I'm reading you can actually use it to influence in inbound traffic by you know uh, Setting it under the route map that you know you created so set origin I think uh, value here um, you know you can always verify this if you you know if you are on a router you can just you know use question mark <clears throat> but uh, let's talk about you know this table here that I got from a book that I'm reading, uh, CCIE routing and switching version 5.0 official cert guide volume 2. <clears throat> so fifth edition by Narpik. I'm not really sure how to pronounce his last name, but I think it's Kocharians and Terry Vinson. So that's the book that <clears throat> I got this uh, table from. So uh, we got uh, three uh, columns. So origin code, Cisco IO expectation, and then <clears throat> you know the uh, use fork route into BGP. Uh, use for routes injected into BGP because. Uh, of the following commands I think that's really the yeah use for routes injected into BGP because of the following commands oh, so use for routes injected injected just put injected here injected into BGP because of the following commands. Yeah, so there are 
three uh, origin codes and they are IDP, EDP, and incomplete. So Cisco IEO citation for IDP is I, EDP is E, and incomplete is question mark. Uh, this is actually the value that you will see if you do a show IP BDP on a router and these values here are going to be on the far right side uh, usually you will see you know the this notation here I or question mark you you should never see this uh, notation here because EGP is actually not being used um, not being used nowadays uh, it is actually a an old uh, a legacy uh, like EGP exterior gateway protocol yeah a legacy of uh, exterior gateway protocol which is you know it's got the same name so yeah um, you know when you see an eye uh, that means that uh, meaning that you know that route uh, is injected into uh, BGP by using the network command uh, aggregate address in some cases and uh, neighbor default originate command. I'm gonna actually um, probably uh, make a video about this default originate and default information originate commands. I'm not very familiar with these yet. But next is AGP. Like I said, this is you know just a legacy uh, of an exterior gateway protocol. It's not being used uh, nowadays. Uh, so no particular commands. And a complete, um, this is, you know, it's, it, got a quest, it got a notation of question mark. So if you see a route that has a question mark, um, that means that uh, that route was injected into uh, BGP using, you know, the redistribute command or uh, aggregate address in some cases and default information originate command. So yeah, um, if you do a show IP BGP. Um, and then on the you know left far left side you, you can actually uh, see I uh, that that I is not uh, an origin uh, but it is a neighbor type so if that route has a has an I next to it or you know somewhere on the left side meaning that you know that route is uh, an ABGP, uh, I mean an IBGP, uh, meaning that it's an IBGP route, not an EBGP route. If there's no I, uh, meaning that uh, that route is learned via EBGP uh, neighbor type. You know, we have uh, uh, two different peering, I mean, BGP peering types, right? IBGP and EBGP. So that's why you have, you know, I and, and uh, I and blank uh, for EBGP. So that's it for BGP origin path attribute. Um, <clears throat> my, in my opinion, this is uh, very important to remember because uh, most of the time we forget about these kind of things but yeah uh, that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye